Dr. Ragusia, tell us more about the mentally ill in prison and is substance abuse involved in any of this? And the answer is unfortunately yes. Um, there are lots of different forms of mental illness or psychological dysfunction, if you will. And one of them is the abuse of drugs and alcohol. Um, approximately half the people in prison are there because of drug and alcohol related offenses. Half the people in prison? Half, that's correct. Um, it is a bizarre kind of uh, situation that we have right now that we've now ha we now have three states that have legalized possession of marijuana. Mm -hmm. And there are people in state penitentiaries now doing 20 years for possession of half an ounce of marijuana. Mm. Okay. That, that's crazy that's, to fathom, too. <laughs> that, that's right. But nonetheless, that's mm -hmm. the situation we're in. Mm -hmm. uh, because we got tough on crime. We had this war on drugs, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But people didn't s understand where it was headed towards, okay? Mm -hmm. um, now, that's only part of the picture. The other part of the picture is about 15% or roughly one in six people in jail or in prison is seriously mentally ill. So we're talking about people who've got mental illnesses such as bipolar disorder, or some people call it manic depressive syndrome, um, uh, schizophrenia, uh, they may suffer from schizophrenia, um, they may be um, profoundly depressed and suffer from a, a very severe uh, depressive episode. Um, but it's those kinds of mental illnesses that are considered severe. And about one in six in prison um, has a, a diagnosis that is one that fits into the category of severe mental illness. Mm -hmm. So we're not talking about people that are just mildly depressed or a little bit anxious, mm -hmm. but people who are really sick, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and um, uh, those people used to be in state mental hospitals mm -hmm. or in community mental health centers. Mm -hmm. But there's no place for them to go anymore. Yeah. And w are we any steps closer to making that happen again, making mental health hospitals pop back up? And the answer is no. What we continue to do is reduce the funding for mental health treatment in a variety of ways, and we continue to increase the number and size of the prisons. Prisons are enormously overcrowded. Um, there are, there, most prison cells are these tiny little spaces. Um, you take one or two people, you stick them in a prison cell, there's one or two cots in the cell, um, a, a toilet bowl, a sink, and pretty much that's it. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, but now you've got prisons in, in some states that are so overcrowded they, they look worse than an army barracks. Mm -hmm. um, you could take a room that's, uh, that's 20 by 20 and put 40 prisoners in it. Um, and um, so w the point is we just keep jamming prisoners in um, mm -hmm. like they're sardines in a can and about one in six of those prisoners is severely mentally ill. Mm -hmm. okay? Which just blows my mind. It, it makes no sense. It's not, like we're providing, it's not like we're providing humane psychological treatment to these people. Mm -hmm. We're not helping them. What we're doing is hurting them. Mm -hmm. um, I knew a fellow once who was... Um, um, I was asked to evaluate him in prison, and what the guy was doing was um, sitting in a room, uh, I'm sorry, in a jail cell that was covered with toilet paper that he'd spread all over the floor about two feet deep. Um, and uh, what he did was he'd pour his dinner into his toilet and then eat the dinner out of the toilet. And um, he was psychotic, he was mm -hmm. delusional. Mm -hmm. And um, he talked with me in what's called word salad, words that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. and, um, and this poor man was in jail because he would call the district attorney's office and tell the district attorney's office to stop following him. He was paranoid, mm -hmm. okay? So he thought he was being followed all over by the district attorney's office. Where he got this idea, I don't know. He'd call them up and he'd say, either stop following me or I'll kill you. So they then prosecuted him for making terroristic threats to the district attorney's office mm -hmm. and then put him in prison where he received no care and lived in this grossly inhumane way. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's not justice. Mm -hmm. It's not common sense. 
It's just one of the stupidest things we do in our country. Right. So he didn't receive any help, any psychological help that he was just put right into prison and then later received help from you or And, and the answer is I honestly don't know. I mm -hmm. wrote up a 10-page report and sent it to the court and said this man needs to be in a hospital, not in prison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I mean, the, the, the closest we can uh, say we're coming to m appropriate treatment is that many prisons are now building whole wings that are nothing but mental hospitals in jail. But again, they're in prisons. Instead of being separate on their own, they're in the prison. That's correct. Are we any, uh, because we're not any step closer, you said we're, we're no step closer. What can we do then right now? Well, one of the things we can do is we can stop wasting our money. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I talk to politicians about it, they say, look, my constituents want me to put people behind bars because we know they won't hurt anybody that way, mm -hmm. okay? And I tell them, look, you have to do more than be tough on crime. You have to be smart on crime, mm -hmm. okay? So there are some people who need to be locked up forever. And then there are other people who need treatment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we need to be smart enough to separate out those two groups. Mm -hmm. And politicians need to know that that's what their constituents want them to do. Mm -hmm. So call your state representatives. Call your U.S. Congress people. Mm -hmm. Tell them what it is you want. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, they'll just keep being mm -hmm. tough. Yeah. If we don't do something, it's going to stay the same. We're going to take a quick break right now, but we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> 